Before I decided to sell solar around Great Britain, I hadn't ever sold solar before, apart from in a little dinghy. Um, I'd been working on renovating the boat I took around Britain. I'd moved her up to Hull where I was working. I'd spent nights sleeping under her trying to get resin to set on her decks. It was an, the whole thing was an incredible adventure. But I didn't know what I was going to do with her until that day I went to Musto. When I was on the phone to my mum from a call box in Grimsby, and she said that I had received a letter from Musto. And she'd opened the letter and she'd seen what was inside. So she read the letter to me over the phone and it was from Keith Musto saying, well done on winning the Young Sailor of the Year Award. Musto would love to hear about what you're doing in the future. And I'd wanted to do a trip in this little boat that I'd saved my school dinner money for, a little boat called Iduna. Uh, but I'd always thought it was going over to Norway or exploring. And then I suddenly realized on the way um, down to Musto after waking that morning and seeing a map of the UK that I was going to take a solo around Britain. And they said, great, send us a plan. I went away and worked flat out for 48 hours to create the plan of everywhere I'd stop and what facilities were there and where I could park and if I could get in the harbour. I spent 48 hours with an almanac going right around the country. And on the 1st of June I set off to sail sail around Great Britain. And it was actually probably one of the biggest adventures of my life because it took four and a half months, a month longer than it took me to get around the world non-stop the first time. And I didn't know anyone where I was going, so for me it was a true adventure. It kind of resonates that first feeling that I ever felt when I sailed on a boat. I was four years old, it was on the southeast coast with my auntie Thea, and I'll never forget that feeling of hoisting these tiny triangles of cloth and feeling that we could sail across the oceans forever. It was freedom for me. That for me was an amazing feeling. Every day was a different experience. It might be meeting someone different, it might be sailing through the night down to um, down to Troon in northwest Scotland and having seagulls fly over the masthead lit up green by the navigation light. All these things, everything was a little adventure in itself. You know, getting beaten up by the wind off the Isle of Man, uh, going round Land's End with no wind, you know, tying an apple up with bits of string so I could drag it in the water because everything was hot on board because it was such a hot summer that year. All these little things, it was all an adventure, it was all about learning, it was all about learning about life. And you know, I was a kid, I was 18, it was a big step forward for me. I wanted to, to go further when I'd done that. It taught me a lot about myself. It's all part of, for me, exploring life. Musto was the first sponsor I ever had. When I was very young, when I was only just working out what my dreams even looked like in solo sailing, and they were there, and they've always stayed there. For me, that's very special, because when you first have those ideas, people don't know who you are, you know, you don't have any track record. To have people support you at that early age, and that grew into an incredible relationship that's lasted for over 15 years. It was someone believing in me, someone believing in me enough to give me the confidence to go out there and make things happen, and, and that first person was Mustang.